Now you learned how you can add models to the admin area. You go to admin py and then there you need to register your model. So here, besides importing book, I now also want to import author and then call admin.site.register author. And we can also add an admin class for the author if we want to fine tune how it's being displayed or if we want to fine tune its configuration as you learned in the last course section. For the moment, I'll keep it simple though and just add this and then just start our server with manage py run server. And this brings up this development server. Hence, I reload my admin panel and I see this one book and I also see my authors. Now here we have offer object one, which is not too pretty, but we can fix this soon. But we generally have both pieces of data here. Now let's fix how an offer is displayed though, because offer object one is not really too helpful. And you learned how we can fix this. And definitely therefore also try it on your own. Here's a quick pause for you to pause the video and try it on your own. Thereafter, we'll fix it together. I want to make sure that instead of offer object, we here see the first and the last name. Were you successful? Let's fix it together. And for this, we need to go to models py and simply add or overwrite a method in the author class. It's the underscore underscore str underscore underscore method, which is a special method that determines how this class or how objects based on this class are printed as strings when strings are needed. And here we therefore should return a string. And it's up to you what you want to return here. But I want to return an F string where I simply output self dot first name, white space, and then self dot last name. And I will actually tweak this even more. And I'll add a new custom method to this class here, which I'll name full name, which gets access to the instance, where I return self plus first name plus white space plus self dot last name, or simply return this f string from down there. And then here in the stir method, I just return the result of calling self dot full name, like this. Why did I do that? Because now I have this general full name utility method, which we could also use in templates or other areas where we might need the full name. If I now save this and I reload, we see the author name here, which looks much better, also in the filter. So how can we then manage the relation here in the admin panel? Well, let's see how the relation is managed for Harry Potter 1. You see that for author, Django automatically renders us a drop-down field where we can select all available authors. And it also gives us a convenient way of adding a new author by just clicking the plus here. And then here, I could add myself here as an author and click save. And if I do that, it even automatically selected that. But of course, I can go back to JK Rowling as well. So if I now add a new book here, my story, I can enter a rating and then select myself as an author and click save. And that's how relations are managed here. We can add author models, also of course by clicking on author, add author. And for example, add Tolkien, save that. And then go to books and add a new book like Lord of the Rings, give it a rating and select that author where this book should be assigned to and click save. And that's how we can manage relations here. Under the hood, it's basically executing the queries we saw in the shell before. But of course, it's more convenient for us to use this admin interface. Though, of course, you should also know both approaches because depending on what you're building, you sometimes can use the admin interface, but sometimes you're also dealing with data that should not be managed here and instead you're running your own Python code in your views. 
which is why I also showed you the shell approach where you see all those raw Python commands you could have used to manage and connect the data.